How does light therapy and specifically red and near infrared light therapy work in the body? I'm going to talk about how light therapy works in general and then dive deeper into four ways light therapy works in your body, all in under four minutes. If you would like to learn about the different types of light spectrums, you can watch the video that I recorded about that here. But essentially, we need light for our bodies to stay healthy. And most of us do not get enough sunlight. And as we age, our cells produce poorer and poorer copies, leading to diseases and declining health. Light needs a target, and when it penetrates into the clear cell, it finds a dark, dark spot in the cell called mitochondria, which produces ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Now, this is the energy source that your cells use to fuel your body. So the first two ways that red light therapy works is by targeting the mitochondria. So first of all, there is mitochondria in the blood. And this was only recently discovered in 2020 and is really good news because when we can increase our ATP in the blood, it can now be circulated systemically throughout the body. And since there is no process of aging that does not involve ATP, an increase in ATP can heal cells, returning them to homostasis and can help the cells to replicate in a more healthy state. Secondly, there are mitochondria in the tissues and specifically a lot in the muscle. And again, an increase in ATP can heal tissues, organs, and help build and repair muscle, increase strength, stamina, endurance, and aid in recovery. The third way the light therapy works is when the near infrared light waves can actually reach the bone, it will stimulate the red bone marrow to release stem cells. Now stem cells can help not only to reduce inflammation, which is at the core of almost every disease state, but it can become any one of about 200 cells in the body that can be used to regenerate and repair diseased and damaged tissue. So as we age, our body does not produce as many stem cells and diseases can proliferate. Increasing stem cells really helps your body to heal. And there's a lot of red bone marrow, specifically in the skull, and this can help with brain injuries, strokes, dementia, and red light therapy has actually been studied to even increase memory in healthy adults. The final way the red light therapy has been studied to work is that light knocks nitric oxide out of the mitochondria and donates it to the blood vessels, which fixes the endothelia, which is the blood vessel wall. And this allows for more blood flow. If you want benefits and especially related to stem cells, you will need to choose a delivery system that has enough power to deliver a therapeutic level joules of light energy into your body. So I will share exactly what I use down in the show notes below. And if you want to hear about the different devices, you can check out the video that I did right here. As a former pharmaceutical sales rep, I am always interested in the science behind why and how something works. There are over 5,000 clinical studies showing real efficacy in using red light therapy to treat many things from injuries, strokes, to reversing symptoms of dementia, reducing wrinkles and fine lines and increasing muscle, and so, so much more, and specifically everything related to aging. Red light therapy is very safe to use, all with little to no side effects. And as always, do your own research to see if this type of treatment is right for you.